Miami Beach moving quickly to deal with corruption charges. He's already agreed to a plea deal. Local 10's Leon Morejon has the details of that deal, which will keep him out of prison. George Vallejo was accused of breaking state campaign finance laws. Now he's out of a job. Do you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so say I do. I do. George Vallejo, no longer the mayor of North Miami Beach. After pleading guilty today to two misdemeanor counts of violating campaign finance laws, his resignation effective 8 a.m. this morning, his photo removed from the city hall lobby. My understanding is that you wish to enter a plea of guilty to the two counts that have been filed by the state attorney's office, one involving a false report of an expenditure by a political committee and the other is authorizing an illegal expenditure by a political committee. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. This all stems from a political committee created by Vallejo's aunt in 2015. Vallejo was accused of soliciting donations for that committee and later using that money to cover personal expenses. And here are the facts. There is an investigation. In 2016, he took to Facebook to confirm he was being investigated by the state attorney's office. While they were looking at some financial discrepancies and some, some financial records that didn't seem correct to them, they then discovered uh, these violations of Florida's election laws. As part of the terms of his plea agreement, Vallejo agreed to resign from office, will serve 90 days on house arrest, and complete 500 hours of community service. He'll also spend 18 months on probation and cannot run for any sort of elected office during that time. Vallejo must also write a letter of apology to the people of North Miami Beach. Now that Vallejo has resigned, Vice Mayor Beth Spiegel will act as mayor. Reporting in North Miami Beach, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News.